What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. Before I go any further, I just wanna say that this image was inspired by the Instagram user Johnny, AKA Black Coffee Blues. Should definitely check out his work. He's been making some really cool flowers and stuff like that. And he was the one that used the unicorn plexi to create this flower design. Now I don't know if he was exactly going for the dandelion shape, but that's what it looked like to me and gave me the inspiration to go out and shoot this image. I used a bunch of different tools from light painting brushes in this one. I used the green fiber optic with a yellow screw on color filter. I used the leaf plexiglass with the green screw on color filter. And then I also used the unicorn plexiglass to create the bulb of the flower. All of those were attached via the universal connector to the Soonfire DS30 flashlight. I also used the yellow color hood just to add a little light to the scene and that was attached via the universal connector to the Coast G26 flashlight. The camera that I used was the Canon 6D Mark II and the lens that I used is the Rokinon 14mm manual lens. The manual part again is important in this image because I changed the aperture during the exposure. The settings that I used were ISO 100 F16 shooting on bulb mode for the entire part of the flower and the little grassy part using the green fiber optic. And then I went to the camera and opened up the aperture all the way to 2.8 to allow the background to expose and also to add in a little more light with the yellow color hood. One of the things I live my life by is you always find what you're looking for. So whether it be good or bad, you're gonna find it. And that can be in any situation or any mistake. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you one of the mistakes that I made uh, shooting this night. And that mistake turned out to be one of my favorite images of the night and I discovered something new in it. Stick around to the end, I'll show you that one. But without further ado, we'll get into this video right now. Starting the exposure now, the settings are ISO 100 F16 shooting on bulb mode. The first tool that I'm using is the green fiber optic with the yellow screw on color filter attached to the Soonfire DS30 flashlight. I'm waving the fiber optic around all over the ground here of the scene. This is doing two things. The first thing is it's creating these little wisps of light that I think kind of look like grass in the image. And then the other thing is that it's actually illuminating all around the base of where the flower is gonna be created. I've marked a spot on the ground just by kind of digging a hole with my foot, a small hole there, so I know that is going to be the base of my flower. I'm working the light to and from that same spot each time. So as I'm going away and then coming back, each time I come back, I'm coming back to that little divot that I've kind of dug out with my foot there so I know where the center of that flower is going to be. The next tool that I'm using here is the etched leaf plexiglass with the green screw on color filter. What I'm doing with this is I'm creating these leaf looking elements into this image. And the way I'm doing that is I'm simply holding it as still as I can and then turning the light on and off. That is the most important part of creating this leaf effect in the image is holding the plexiglass still any time that it's illuminated. I'm doing the same thing here that I was doing with the fiber optic and that is remembering where that center point is and working my way back to that little divot that I've made in the ground where the base of the flower is going to be. I like to add more leaves as I get closer to that center point. I just imagine kind of vines growing and as the flower is going to be growing up out of the ground, I just think there would be more vegetation and leaves right around the base of where that flower is going to be. Now I'm going to create the stem of the flower and I'm using the exact same tool, the leaf plexiglass with the green screw and color filter. But the difference is here is I'm not going to be trying to keep this still. I'm actually going to be twisting the plexi as I bring it up from the ground. 
The other important thing here that I'm doing is I'm using my body as a guide. So I'm bringing the stem right up to about my chin level so I know exactly where the top of that flower should be and where I should create the blossom. Now I'm using the unicorn plexiglass to create the blossom of this dandelion. The first thing that I'm gonna do is just create a full circle all the way around, keeping the flashlight right about at my chin level because I know that's where the stem ends and that should be the center of this blossom. Now that I've created the full circle all the way around, I'm gonna be filling in the image. Just like with the leaf plexiglass, it's important that each time the unicorn plexi is illuminated, I hold it as still as I can so I can get that nice, sharp, defined shape of the unicorn in this image. If I don't hold it still while it's illuminated, it's going to be blurry. So now I'm filling in what would be that full circle, that blossom. I'm just filling it in. So starting at one side, going up and down, turning the light on and off, holding it still as I can for each time it's illuminated to fill in that full blossom. I'm going to do that all the way through this whole blossom. Now I'm going through and just filling in any spaces that I might have missed. I'm just going through and turning the light on and off and as you'll see I'm doing it at a much faster pace here. I'm really trying to focus on that center as I think that's how it would naturally look as I think there would be more of the blossom brighter in the center instead of on the outside edges. Now that I feel like I have that bulb filled in, I'm walking over to the camera and I'm opening up the aperture to 2.8. This is going to allow much more light into the camera and allow the background to expose much more quickly. I'm also gonna walk into the scene here with the yellow color hood and just add a little bit of light to the scene here. It's kind of splashing different areas with light that I think should be highlighted in this image, especially right around the base of the flower. Now I'm stopping the exposure. I'm gonna see what we got. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, down in the comment section. If you guys have any suggestions on other types of videos that you might want to see related to light painting, please put those down in the comment section as well. I do read all those comments. I try to respond to everybody. So please do if you have any ideas for future videos or anything that you guys want to see, any ways that we can improve, please do put it down in the comment section. As always, Thank you very much for the support, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below. Until the next video, guys, get out there and get creative. This is the image I was referring to, the one that is a mistake. As you can see there, I did not put the stem into this image. Not sure why I forgot to put it in there, but I really like the way it looks. I think it's very interesting. I look at it and I see a new type of orb. It's one that I've never created before, especially using the unicorn plexiglass, and it's definitely something that I can use in my future light painting work. So I just thought it was a great analogy for life in that you're gonna find what you're looking for. So I could look at this thing and I could see the negatives of it and I could see that I forgot to put the stem in and I could say, ah, this is a mistake, this is no good, garbage, whatever. Or I can look at it and I can say, wow, that's actually something really interesting, I can learn from it and I can use it in the future to create something better.